Here is part one of my series on how to build a Blade 400 helicopter. I'm going to start out with the tail section. Here I have a tail boom, the tail rotor belt, the tail servo with a ball link on it, the carbon tail, rod, tail push rod, the two fins, um, tail rotor blades, this is a little guy that goes on to hold the servo. A small Phillips screwdriver, a large Phillips screwdriver, a 1.5 millimeter wrench. Uh, the boom supports have our tail rotor shaft, a little end cap, this little brass thing, tail rotor blade grip screws for those, this little wheel, the tail case assembly. So I guess that's all there is to that. So we can get started. Here is the tail assembly. Here is part of the tail assembly. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my tail rotor shaft, slide it through the back of here. There should be a ball bearing in there. Slide it in all the way. Then going to slide on this little piece like this. This should slide on. Now there are little tabs that should interlock. The little screw heads should interlock in there so that we can adjust the tail rotor pitch. Now that we've gotten that all installed. The next step is we install this little piece. This piece goes in. Note the flat spot. Stick it on with the flat spot. Line it up. Then I'm just going to tighten the set screw with a 1.5 millimeter wrench. There we go. And you want the end of the shaft to be flush with the top of this little kind of wheel thing. So there is that whole assembly. Looks good like that. Make sure your set screw is lined up with that shaft. And the next step is we take our grips, blade grips. These will slide on to your shaft like this. And then you can pop on the ball links. And then your tail rotor blade grips can be installed like that. And it's starting to look like a tail rotor. Okay. So the next step is there are these two little screws like this. They use a 1.5 millimeter wrench. And those are just installed into the shaft. Stick it through the end of your blade grip. Tighten them up. There's one on each side. So now we got those tightened up, we can see the tail rotor assembly here. Now, next step is our tail rotor blades. Hold your tail rotor shaft assembly like this and it spins this way counterclockwise so the tail rotor blades just stick them on like this so that it'll, they'll they spin counterclockwise then put the two screws through them like this Now don't tighten it too much, you still want your tail rotor blades to be able to move. 
They shouldn't be able to drop it. They should still move semi freely. So don't tighten it down too much. So then we can stick on the other blade. There we go. Tail rotor blades installed. It should move counterclockwise. It's the way the blade should be pointing. So that's just about the end of that assembly. Now um, you have this little cap here which goes on to the end like this. Then you have a little brass spacer which goes on like that and this section of the tail assembly is complete. There we go. To install the belt, you'll need a, pe a pretty long piece of wire. It's longer than your tail um, boom. Take your belt, just wrap it around like this, make a little hook, twist it around, and there you go. So you have your belt on a long piece of wire. You wanna now you see um on this end we have these two holes and on this end we have a slot and a long oval shaped hole so we're going to stick it through the oval shaped hole side have our wire come out take our wire now with the belt you're going to want to so have the oval shaped hole facing out then you're going to want to take your belt and make sure it goes in the hole so it's so it um, goes around this way so then we just pull it through make, putting your finger here so that it doesn't twist and pull it towards the end like this so you have it out sticking out both ends now you want to look through it to make sure that there's no twisting of your belt because any twisting will really mess this up. So take your finger out of this hole, that's the hole with the long slot, and I have this piece of wire that I bent into a U shape that I can stick in here. And all this does is just holds the belt at the end like this. So then look we can detach this end okay now look so we have the open hole facing this way the belt sticking through like this okay you can leave this in look through the back make sure that the tail belt is not twisted so we're going to hold the end like this look from the back like this do a 190 degree twist to the right with the belt so it has 190 degree twi twist to the right then our tail assembly see how this one has a bump and this one has a hole you gotta line those up and put this end over your little gear back there and line it up so that the bump goes in the hole and there is your tail assembly now you still want to make sure you have only not one 90 degree twist and this end is still hanging out that side and there we go you got your belt in so got this like this we're going to grab the other side of the tail case stick this little metal spool up on it like that the other side of the tail case should slide and lock on like this then you have five screws that you're gonna have to tighten up forget don't worry about these two screws yet so we're gonna tighten up these screws here there's our tail case all sealed up we can adjust the pitch everything looks good this is still coming out like that 
only have one 90 degree twist in it so we can rotate that now the next step is we can attach our tail fin here this tail fin just sticks right here using two long screws with washers yeah, these screws are really long it takes a long and annoying time to stick them in See these two screws and washers and they go into this two open holes closest to the helicopter on the side of the boom so they go into those two holes Here we go, we got that tail fin attached. Still looking good. Next step, we're going to work on attaching this piece. So we need this U shaped block here. There's two screws there and two pretty short screws, which are used to hold on this up horizontal stabilizer fin. So you can just screw this to the block. Don't screw it down all the way though. So you won't be able to slide it on and off the shaft. Or boom. So that's attached to the arm like that, not all the way tightened. Next we have the boom supports. See they have one angled end and one straight end. Use the straight end and stick them on like this. And stick them on so that the angled end goes up like a scoop. So you want to stick them on so they're like this. Okay, so again there's these two screws. Here we got the boom supports on. Don't tighten them, you still want to be able to move them and adjust them. Then these, oh, take, you have two push rod supporting things. Take the shorter one, longer and shorter, take the shorter one. Slide it onto your shaft. You may have to loosen the screw on the side. Screwdriver is a little too big for that. And slide this down to about there. Doesn't really matter. Then we got our this this assembly. this can slide on and there you go there is part of the basic tail assembly we're not done yet but we are getting pretty close everything's gone well so far and it should be and you're on your way to finishing the tail assembly all we have left to do is install the final push tail push rod support. We can just slide it on to the tail boom.
Okay, so you got that half that section installed. Slide it up to about like that. Then we can install this piece. This holds your tail servo. So if we look at the boom from this side, we want to install it like this. Slide it down to about there. Next, we can take our push rod. The push rod can pop out to the ball link here. Pop into the push rod guide. The second push rod guide. And then it will come out like that. So we can... Move it like that. Then our servo has the ball link. With our tail facing this way. Want to hold our servo like this. Pop it on. Then you have to reposition this piece. Actually, you know what? It goes on this way. There we go. Grew through your servo and into that black holder piece. And there we go. You can kind of align these things so your push rod is straight. And there we go. There is your completed tail assembly with servo. So, now you can be ready to install this onto the main frame of your helicopter.